We're going to talk about using LUTs in Adobe Premiere CC. To start with, drag your clip onto the timeline. Here we're using a clip with a Rec 709 color profile. Now to access the Lumetri color engine inside of Adobe Premiere CC, the easiest way is to go to Window, Workspaces and then Color. And this brings up these color panels here on the right hand side. So before you apply a LUT you should correct your image, so I'm going to perhaps warm the image up slightly, increase the exposure and bring down some of those highlights. And it's important that you correct your image before applying LUTs. Next we're going to go down to the Creative tab. If you don't have them loaded here you can click Browse and navigate to the folder on your computer where you have the LUT stored. And I'm just going to select uh, one of the LUTs here and you can see immediately we've got this lovely color correction on the image. Now what you can do in the Creative tab is to turn the intensity of this LUT up or down. So if you want it more intense you'd go up, but if you wanted it perhaps a little more subtle then you can decrease the intensity and give it a more natural feel. Now it's important to note that LUTs are not a final color correction, they should be used as a starting point. So after this I'm going to go in and continue to color correct my image and play with some of the tones uh, to ensure that I'm getting something that looks really nice. And you should do this for all of the clips on the timeline. And if you wanted to change any of the LUTs at any time, you can simply go in, browse and apply a different one. And that's how to use and apply LUTs in Adobe Premiere CC.